Talk about uh, you know coming off a pretty solid year last year personally and as a team. What are your expectations coming in? Uh, my expectations as a team is for us to go further than we did last year in the NCAA tournament. You know, so that's uh, win another Valley Conference title. You know, rank first in our conference going into the tournament and uh, advance past just the third round of the tournament. And personally, probably just um, if if willing, you know, within the coach and our team, for me to probably expand my role um, versus last year, or just if not, just be consistent on um, what my role was last year. So. Being one of the veterans on your team, um, how do you see your role off the court? Has that changed? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I don't really think it's changed. I just think that um, it's probably probably just expect more of out of me, you know. Um, a lot of the guys, um, they, um, they, come, they listen to me more, you know, when it comes to, like, advice, you know, on and off the court and stuff. I just feel like the younger guys just seek uh, for more guidance within me, you know, aspects of basketball on and off the court, you know. Looking at the uh, the off, off, or the non-conference schedule, is there anyone on the schedule you're, you're kind of looking forward to playing? I'm looking forward to probably playing Wichita State again. You know, they're going to be good again, and um, I just want you know, not kind of like revenge from last year when we played here at home when they got us. So um, they're always probably it's probably the best and the funnest game for me to play. So I'm looking forward to playing them one more time. What do you think about Coach putting the Sweet 16 on the Bolton board? Uh, I just think I just think it's the norm. You know, we expect that of ourselves or whatever. So I'm just one practice at a time, one game at a time, trying to get to that to that point. So. I'm happy for it. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you.